Hi, I'm Commissioner Nancy Jester, and welcome to Nancy Jester Reports for Tuesday, August 21st. Um, your uh, Board of Commissioners met today in the Committee of the Whole, and before I get to uh, that report and all that we did in committees today, I wanted to let you know uh, about uh, something. So we'll call this a new segment. It is Losers of the Week. Would love to call it Winners and Losers, but I only have a loser this week. So, um, and that is... Um, uh, this project for the citizens of DeKalb County, um, we were going to be able to put a solar array on the reservoir, uh, and this was a special project with Georgia Power and Hanna Energy, and um, it was going to be able to generate clean uh, energy, would go into the grid, it would uh, generate revenue for DeKalb County, and um, in theory, it would lower some of the operational costs for the reservoir, uh, evaporation issues and so on, and it was going to be a unique um, opportunity to show that uh, these floating solar arrays um, can be a, you know, a very positive uh, thing. Uh, so I, I am very disappointed that we will not be doing this, uh, we will not be moving forward with this project. So let me read the statement that um, Hannah Solar sent uh, to DeKalb County recently. Um, it is with greatest regret that I have to inform you that due to an inability to provide the necessary documents and meet the required timeline of this Georgia Power Ready project, um, it, uh, it's no longer under consideration. Um, we will promptly be notifying Georgia Power um, about this termination and they'll go down the waiting list, they say. It's been difficult knowing that DeKalb had such an incredible environmental, uh, financial, and promotional opportunity so close at hand, but that it uh, let it slip away. It truly would have created a nationally recognized HALO project for the county. I appreciate uh, your assistance, and he um, wanted to thank uh, those of us who had been really working hard on this particular project, Billy Malone and uh, myself and Commissioners Gannon and Rader. So I am disappointed because I think this is one of those areas where um, you had bipartisanship, it was low-hanging fruit, it was uh, something we could have used um, in our county, it would been a leader on, and it would only have generated um, revenue for us, it wouldn't cost us anything, and it, this is very disappointing that we're not going to be able to do this. So um, that uh, DeKalb County and their lack of a solar array at our water plant is my loser for the week. So um, on to committee reports. So the committee of the whole met. That's when we all meet um, as uh, before we do our board meeting next week. So and we receive reports. We got an interesting report from a presentation about the Emory DeKalb Medical uh, Partnership. Um, so DeKalb Medical has been in talks uh, with Emory University and they will be taking over both the North DeKalb campus, the Decatur um, facility, and the Hill and Dale facility uh, that um, DeKalb Medical has. And this is going to be, I think, a, a net plus for the community. Uh, we got a very robust presentation from uh, Emory and um, Bob Wilson, who is the head of uh, DeKalb Medical right now. So. Looking forward to that. I think the transition happens at the end of this month, at the end of August. So September 1st will be, uh, everything will be under Emory at that point. Um, and I thank them for, for coming to give us that presentation. We had a, a bunch of uh, agenda items, nothing that, you know, jumps out at me that, um, that was all that uh, interesting. A lot of just random procurement stuff that went to committees. So uh, we're, um, we, w we looked at those things in committee and I'll get to my committee reports in a second. We did get something that I wanna tell you about that uh, we'll, uh, we should be voting on next week. It is a resolution um, basically to uh, allow for um, House Bill 751, uh, which goes in, is going into effect to uh, be operating in DeKalb County, which is, that is um, House Bill 751 uh, took effect on July 1st, and it uh, created the Georgia Emergency Communications Authority, which will receive 911 charges on telephone services, wireless enhanced 911 charges, and transaction fees for prepaid wireless services. So um, <clears throat> we'll pass this resolution to allow that uh, to go into effect in DeKalb. This is going to help solve some of the problems that we've seen statewide in the collection of the 911 fees and the distribution to the appropriate uh, government. Uh, this has long been a problem across the state and will hopefully result in um, better financial uh, situations for 911 systems. So uh, I thought that was something I wanted to bring to your attention. 
So we also had our um, committee meetings yesterday, had finance audit and budget meeting. Uh, we went over financial statements. Uh, everything's going very smoothly. We don't have <coughs> any anomalies at this point. So I'm, I'm pleased with that. Um, I'm very disappointed, I guess. Wow, maybe I have two losers of the week. I'm very disappointed that the Convention and Visitors Bureau did not show up at our um, uh, FAB committee meeting. They were supposed to come and we were gonna go through their financials so we can just add that to our repertoire of uh, financial statements that we look at uh, on a regular basis. Um, so I'm hoping that they will come to the next one. We're gonna see what the problem was, but I had anticipated them being there and they did not make it. Um, also importantly, we interviewed for um, uh, to, f to fill the unexpired term of an audit oversight committee uh, board member, so uh, appointee. And so we had a really great, um, we had two interviews with uh, really great citizens and uh, the FAB committee will be making a recommendation to the full board for uh, one of those nominees. I feel like they were robustly qualified, had great experience and will bring a lot of um, will bring a lot of skill to that oversight board. So that was uh, very helpful. We had um, a PWI meeting, that Public Works and Infrastructure meeting. We had um, consent decree update. We had um, FOG, Fats, Oil, Grease ordinance update. And we actually are recommending the FOG ordinance, which is for multifamily developments. We're recommending approval of that to the full board. It's long, it's been too long in coming. And this will, uh, what this does is our, a lot of the multifamilies that we have, a lot of, um, they contribute greatly to our um, the clogs in our sewer system, the problems that we have. So we want a way to hold um, hold those entities accountable for the um, what they're doing to our sewer system. So if you're cleaning your system properly, if you're taking care of of your uh, multifamily sewer system, uh, and you're not causing problems, <coughs> it won't be a problem. But if you um, if you are constantly clogging up, and we, we have ways that we can look into the system and see where the clogs are coming from, then um, you know it sets up uh, some consequences for that. So this is uh, long been needed. It's part of our um, the needs for our consent decree. So that will be going forward uh, to the full board. Um, otherwise, we're all paying uh, the costs for people that are, you know bad actors that are not um, that are just dumping into our sewer system. So. Um, Let's see, so we talked about that. Um, we had a number of procurement items. Um, a lot of them are deferred because we couldn't uh, have a full meeting. We had, um, uh, some of the committee members had to, to leave. Uh, so some of the issues didn't get discussed. But um, those were the important things that, that we did do there. Um, I am in the process of reviewing our last filing with the EPA on the consent decree, so I'm sure I'll have information to give you from that. Those, uh, these filings that we make, this information should be available on the um, Watershed website, so if you would like to read them yourself, uh, we'll put a little, uh, hopefully, thing on, in the video here where you can see the link and go to it uh, to read them for yourselves. But if I notice anything interesting, I will certainly point that out. Um, so that was your uh, Board of Commissioners meeting and uh, committee uh, summer, uh, summary from Tuesday the 21st. So stay tuned for the next edition of Nancy Chester Reports.